My name is Joseph, and I suffered from chronic fatigue syndrome, mostly with post-exertion malaise, and it's been, I think, about 12 years now. So prior to getting sick, I was in my 20s, so I was a pretty typical, pretty typical 20-year-old. Pretty healthy. I was in school. I was in graduate school for physical therapy. Yeah, I was pretty physically active. I loved to go out and go to parties, things like that. So pretty normal. So how that chronic fatigue affected my life? Mostly, I, I was still able to work, so I was I was fortunate there. I never got to the point where like I wasn't able to work, but it was pretty difficult. Usually by the end of the days, I would feel like hell. And I'd often want to just go like straight to bed not do anything so in bad days like after I've had a bad flare-up then I would have to lay in bed usually that never got more than like a couple days so I, I was kind of lucky there but in the worst days yes I would have to lay in bed if I had a bad crash but for the most part I could still work but it was just pretty hard fortunately I have a wife that's supportive and I have a daughter so it was helpful to I could rely on them outside them I probably didn't have too much of a social life you know I kind of I mean I'd have ups and downs over the years but for the most part I kind of limited limited most of my social life to kind of the necessities so I, I wasn't able to do too much and then like in terms of exercise I kind of just gave that up quite a long time ago sometimes I get pretty depressed when things were going bad I would get you know obviously envious of people that were healthy so I remember when I first went to the doctor they gave me the basic labs and everything was, was negative so they put me on Paxil which was probably a good thing looking back I was pretty anxious and I think that did help calm things down. I remember like I wasn't able to sleep hardly at all for a while like when I was in school so that probably was helpful and I still do take an SSRI today but obviously that didn't fix the problem. So it took me a few years before like one doctor would label it as chronic fatigue syndrome but of course there's no no treatment for that really and then I went to naturopath and tried a few few supplements. Maybe it helped a little bit at the beginning but then it kind of stopped. I've tried like B12 injections. I would pay that out of the pocket, forty dollars a time. Um, that that seemed to make things worse. I don't didn't respond very well to B12. See, I went on testosterone replacement for a bit. Again, initially that kind of gave you a, a pretty strong kick of energy, but then you just feel like jittery and tired. So it doesn't that didn't help too good in the long run either. And I went down like the rabbit hole of like trying to change my gut for a while, um, trying different herbs and probiotics. Again, not very beneficial. And I probably spent 500, 600 on supplements there as well. So I found about Reorigin. I was probably going through a crash or something. I was searching the internet for a lot of different, you know, resources. And I was listening to the podcast, Chronic Comeback. They have a lot of stories and I they resonated with me quite a bit. A lot of them where people did like brain training, which that seemed to be the thing that got most of them better, kind of doing these brain training approaches. So I was kind of curious about that. And I think Ray Origin was was mentioned on one of the podcasts. I would have some hesitancy because I was following like these MACFS uh, advocacy groups and they do have a pretty militant stance like against anything kind of cognitive related, which I understand because, you know, people have been dismissed or gaslighted quite a bit. So I think I would explain it as kind of retraining your brain to to view your illness differently or view, you know, how you react to stresses differently, kind of reframe how your body reacts to that. I was excited to give it a try for sure. I like how things are very spelled out very clearly. It's very like straightforward. It's not obtuse. It gives you clear instructions of like strategies to try and how to how to fit it into your life and the science behind it. They kind of break that down really specifically as well, which I thought was very helpful. I was encouraged by, you know, encouraged by the videos, encouraged by, you know, the community as well. It was a very encouraging community. So I stuck with it and it's been beneficial for sure. What's helped me the most in the program is how you can kind of fit things into your day. You know, it's not like you have to do something specifically at a certain time of day. You know, it's kind of with the long forms, it's something that you can kind of work into your day at various points. So like for me, you know, at work, luckily we have like a private bathroom. So between patients, I can run in there and kind of do the long form thing a little bit. And that's been helpful the way the strategies, you know, you can kind of fit them into your day, which is good. So upon completing the program, I think for one, I have a lot less anxiety surrounding my symptoms. You know, I feel like I can kind of manage them a little bit better and be a lot more calm. You know, with doing the strategies, I, I have noticed good improvements, ex like especially I can notice at work, like I don't feel as bad at the end of the day. I can notice like I still have energy. I still feel like I'm doing things after work. I don't just want to go straight to bed. So I think that's the most objective improvement I would say I've made. I mean, it still seems on the newer side. I've only been, you know, it still hasn't been two months. So I haven't really tried to like push it with exercise too much. 
but in terms of like work or family activities, I notice that I have a lot more energy and I don't feel like I'm just wanting to go to bed right away. So as I continue to heal, hopefully, you know, hopefully be able to be more physically active and engage more with maybe some exercise or something. Be more social as well. That's something I hope for, you know, have more time for social events. I know there is, you know, resistance to these type of things within the CFS community, but it can be very beneficial. So I would definitely recommend it. Yeah.